Hi everyone, this is Matt Renna again. This is Module 2, Combining Data. So I've set up a couple examples here that we're going to walk through to see how do you take two different cells and combine them into one, and I'll show you sort of a variety of different ways to do that. So let's simply start with uh, what we have here. So we have Joe in cell A5 and Smith in B5. So how do we combine them if you need uh, one cell that has Joe Smith in it. Right, so we're going to use a simple formula. I'm going to start out by hitting the equal sign. An equal sign in Excel means I'm writing a formula. So that's how Excel knows that you're not just typing in text, you're typing in a formula. So I'm going to start by typing in the equal sign and then I'm going to say equals A5 and then I'm going to use the ampersand. And I'm, That's basically the combine uh, symbol. So it's usually used uh, in the English language as the AND, as a replacement for the word AND. Um, we'll call it the ampersand for, na for now, and we'll use that symbol, and then we'll combine that uh, with B5. And when you do that, you can see that it combined Joe and Smith together, uh, which is what we wanted to do in this case. However, in terms of setting up a name, you can see that that's not exactly the way we would normally set up a name. Okay, so what if you want text or spaces between Joe and Smith. So let's start that again. I'm going to hit the equal sign. I'm going to go over and say A10. And now, to add text or spaces, you need to have an open quotes. So you put the open quotes, and now what that open quotes is telling you is this is now text. Whatever you put in here, um, Excel is going to sort of print that, is going to display that in the cell. So in this case, all I want is a space. So I'm going to hit the space bar. I'm going to close the quotation. Okay. Now I'm going to hit the ampersand again, and I'm going to click in B10. And now what you you can see there up top as you look at the formula, which is right there, that it combined whatever was in cell A10. The quotes told it put this next, which is basically a space, and then uh, the next cell, which was B10, which is the last name. Okay. Now, what if you wanted to have something like Mr. Joe Smith? Okay, so we're going to start with equals. I'm going to open the quotes and write Mr. I'm going to put a space, close the quotes, Joe. Oops, sorry about that. I've got the ampersand. That was a good exercise because it's very easy to forget that. Ampersand and Joe. Ampersand, open quotes, put in a space, close the quotes to just stop and have just one space, the ampersand, and the last name. And now I've got Mr. Joe Smith. Now, if right here this was Don Brown, okay, and I copy, you notice it would copy the Mr., okay, because that's what the formula has, which is not bad, except what if this was Jane Brown? So you got to be careful about what you put in there in text. So you can see Mr. Jane Brown doesn't make sense. So this was just an example of how you can use um, some text in there. Now what if we wanted to reverse the text and have Smith comma Joe? Alright, so let's just run through that. Start with equals. Now I'm going to start with the last name. Ampersand. Open quotes. Comma. Space. Close quotes. Ampersand. First name. And now you've got um, Joe Smith. Okay? And the last example that I'm going to use here is what if you wanted to add um, some sort of values in text. I used an example that had text, um, but let's say you wanted to um, combine part of a social security number um, or add some sort of number to a name. Again, it's as long as you use the ampersand, um, you'll be able to combine data. So let's go equals Joe, ampersand equals space, close the quotes, ampersand, last name. Okay. And now um, I can put something like and 001, okay? And you can see I just put a 1 in there as a holder. Um, so uh, because I didn't use the quotes. Now how to use quotes, if you'll see here, and I go 001, now it will display the 001 because whatever I put in the quotes is text. It doesn't recognize that as a number now. So you can see the difference of not having the quotes and having the quotes. So this is simply how you combine data in Excel.